There are many reasons why you may need to clean out your sublimation cyst. You might have a clog somewhere in it or just need to change inks. So today we are going to go over how I clean out my sublimation cyst. Let's go. Hey y'all, it's Stephanie and welcome. If you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button down below. It's absolutely free. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or need to know how to do something, leave it in the comment section down below. And if you could, give us a big thumbs up. It would certainly help out the channel. Without further ado, let's get on into the video. Alright, so now we are at the printer and the first thing you do to clean out a cyst is you hit the ink button. This is a Epson CS88 Plus. Now we are going to pop out these ink cartridges. And I have mine fed through here. You don't have to feed yours through here. You could take this off, but I choose not to. So I'm going to feed those back through there. And then we're going to take our whole cyst and we are going to go and empty out all the ink that's in it. Alright, so this part we're going to do over the sink. Now you're going to need four empty bottles, one for each color. And the first, and you're going to need a syringe, plunger syringe thing, and uh, your inkjet cartridges. So you are going to take out the stopper first. And set that to the side and you can you can take out this little part right here where the hose goes now this is just a little plug right like that so that it can go in there we're gonna put our ink bottle in the sink and we are going to take the plunger and stick it in there and this is gonna allow us to suck out all the ink that is in the cartridge once we get the ink out we can take it and put it into our bottle. Now you don't have to save this, you can throw it away. I just don't like taking the ink and putting it down the sink. So this is completely up to you how you do this part. And then once that cartridge is empty, we are going to just take some basic water, rinse it off, And then that way the, the next ink isn't contaminated. As you can see the cartridge, it just goes all the way around. Try not to get the, uh, and you can do this with alcohol too. Alcohol does dry faster. But try not to get the, um, the connector wet. And as you can see, if you tip it like this and you put air in there, it will blow out all that extra water right there. Okay. So now that we got this one done, we're going to set this to the side. And we'll do the rest of them. And then once we're done with that part, we'll come back. All right. So once you got all the cartridges uh, cleaned out, they are going to be stained, but that's okay. So now we're just going to let these sit for about 12 hours. And once they're done sitting and drying out, then we can use them again. So now we are going to take the rest of the ink that is currently in our cyst. And we are going to pop the plug on it. And we are going to take it one by one and pour it into our bottles. Make sure you're doing this over the sink so you don't make a mess. And 
and you want your hoses in the sink so that if they do drain they are draining into the sink so let me go finish emptying these out and then once I'm done with that I will be back I'm all okay so once we got them all out then we can go ahead and put water in them and we are going to go ahead and rinse these hoses out as well so if you can see there the water is going through them and rinsing out all that leftover ink And as you can see, it's all filth, it's all coming out the bottom. All the water is. So we're just gonna let this drain and then we're gonna let it dry out. And once it's completely dry, I'll be able to put more ink and reinsert it to the printer. Right, so I hope you liked the video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye.